Hey YouTube, it's the Test Lead, and today's video is creating collections in Postman. So here's the situation. Maybe you have a group of requests that you're testing in Postman, but you kind of want to organize them into separate containers. Maybe some requests deal with creating users, and other requests deal with transactions. So you want to create containers that kind of separate these request calls, that way it's more organized and easier to use. This video will teach you how to create collections to organize all your API calls, and then you can share them with your team members. A prerequisite for this video is downloading Postman and creating an account, both of which are free. So now let's jump into Postman. This is the web browser version of a free account. So start creating a request. Navigate to your workspace. And if you don't have one, just create a new one. It's very simple. And now start the setup. For each new request that you make, you're gonna start by hitting the tab button to create a new tab. You can change the type of request that you make by selecting from the drop down to create a get, post, put, or any other option shown below. And then your actual request URL goes in the spacebar here. Get requests retrieve data from an API. No information is modified from get calls. You'll be receiving information that already exists. In the URL, type in the following request https colon forward slash forward slash json placeholder dot type code dot com slash users. Now let's check our response. First our status code is 200, which means it was a successful request. And now let's check our response body. If you select pretty, you can see a well-formatted, easy-to-read version of the response body. The response should include a list of objects that include fields such as ID and name. Once again, this information already exists, it's retrieving it from the API call. Now we can start creating our collection. Go to the left tab, Collections, and then we have two ways to create a new collection. Either go to the new on top, or create a collection on the bottom. For example, we'll go to create a collection. Next, we're gonna name our collection. This collection is gonna be called the Test Lead Collection. Next, let's navigate to the right and go to Documentation. Documentation is very important, especially if you're gonna share the collection with other team members. So whenever you're creating something new, always try to document it as much as possible. As you can see, our collection is now listed in our collection list, the Tesla collection. And now let's navigate to our first request call. Let's press the save button and save as. And then we'll save our request under our collection. And then we'll change the request name to request one, to give it a meaningful name, and to differentiate it from other requests that we have in our collection in the future. Now let's copy this URL and then use it for other requests. This request is going to be the same as the first one, but we're just going to change the request name once we save it and add it to our collection. Our collection can have a bunch of different get, post, put requests, but for our example here, we're going to have a bunch of get requests. We're going to do this a few more times and fill up our collection. And now if you click on our collection again, you'll see all three of our requests. And now with this new collection, you can share it to your team members, just choose a workspace, or via JSON. This is very important for reusability. It does make sense for your other team members to have to create a whole new collection for themselves, then you can just reuse your collection. You can also run your collection, edit it, add additional requests, add a folder to it, as well as much other things. You can also modify each request in it. Let's say you want to rename this or duplicate it or just delete it completely, you can do it right from the collection right here. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want a video just like this, please click here. If you want other videos that I have, 
please take care. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.